In other news tonight, one of Brown County's college campuses is providing a temporary solution to one of the area's homelessness issues. Since late December, St. John's Homeless Shelter has been facing $500 fines for going over its Green Bay permit capacity of 64 overnight residents. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz brings us the latest. With students away on winter break, St. Norbert College has become a temporary home for the homeless. It's perfect timing and as a Catholic institution and, and St. John's, uh, you know, being a, being a Catholic parish, we're just thrilled that we can help out and, and do things together. Since December 21st, about 16 homeless people have been staying in the gym at the Pennings Activity Center. People are brought over in a van from St. John's Homeless Shelter after it reaches its overnight permit capacity. The shelter's supplying everything, so it's just like staying at St. John's. They brought mats, blankets, pillows, and, and then we have showers and, and facilities available. Including travel costs and extra staffing, the temporary solution is costing between $300 and $350 a night. Students are set to return to class on January 22nd. Diocese officials say they know they'll have to find another temporary solution before then. It's freezing outside. I don't know what people will do if they actually have to sleep uh, in the cold. In the meantime, St. Norbert and diocese leaders say they're working with DePere officials to maintain the safety of housing the homeless on campus. In De Pere, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Now, Green Bay officials say the fines the shelter is facing are about compliance rather than the actual amount of the citation money. Both sides say they are still working together on a permanent solution.